Alright guys, um, so I have kind of a cool little video for you today. Um, it's how to get Windows 7 on your iPod Touch, iPhone, I think that's it. Uh, iPad, I don't think it is because it's kind of scaled differently. But yeah, let's just let's get into this review. Um, so I, as you see, it looks just like Windows 7. Like, identical. Um, it has two widgets over here that you get in Windows 7. You got the clock and the weather. Um, down here you got the time, you got the little taskbar, and you got the start menu. Um, so yeah, everything is interactive like this. It opens up FaceTime on the iPod, of course. If you have an i or an uh, iPhone, then it's going to open up the phone. Um, and then Safari, and then music player. And then down here's the clock. And it opens up the calendar just like Windows 7 normally would. And then right, oh, if we can get out of there. How do I get out? Uh, and then if you if you click that little sidebar right here, it opens up tasks. So you can like go to whatever task you want. Then down here there's a little blue arrow. You can go to next. So yeah, guys, it's actually it's a, it's a really cool theme. It's for Dreamboard, so you're gonna have to install Dreamboard and then Arrow. Um, but everything is interactive, like computer. It opens up folders. You got apps, video, favorites, games, tools, social, music, media, and per er, personalize. The X button works. Start menu. You got all this different stuff. Um. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.